Oh, he's live. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Historically Haunted Podcast Vodcast with a V. Um, this is episode eight, and uh, I'm going to bring on uh, someone very near and dear to me. Also, my co-host tonight, someone you may know from the Witch and Life Guide channel, or uh, I'm sorry, show on Paranormal King Radio Network. My co-host tonight is Heather Kamaniti. Hi, Heather. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. All right, so the last two weeks, <laughs> I've had people people have things happen. I get it, but I've had cancellations, so I've kind of had to wing it by myself, so to speak. So we get some great guests tonight. Um, guests I know personally. I've we've actually gone cemetery uh, hunting with with, uh, with one of our guests here, Becca, Becca Thomas, uh, and her stepmother, uh, her stepmother Lynn Thomas, who's unavailable tonight. They started Cemetery Diaries, which is a paranormal group. Um, also like a research group um, dedicated to, to to the main area, so to speak. And they recruited some people over the past. They have Angel Rowe, who's not with us tonight, but she's a member. And then also Hannah Sprague. So let's bring on these awesome people. because You know them. There's Becca. Let's get those eyes open. And there's Hannah Sprague. What's okay. going on? Cemetery Diaries. <laughs> How's it going? How's everybody doing? <laughs> Pretty good. Good, good. Um, so yeah, uh, like I was telling everybody, um, I've, we've known Becca for a little bit now, of course, being in Maine, we've, we've worked on a home case and we've done, um, just cemetery hopping, even some, uh, antique, uh, shop hopping with Becca. So oh, we yeah. spent some time with her and, uh, I think it's long overdue just to bring her on and even Hannah to get to know Hannah's quiet. Uh, she's got a killer sense of humor, but she's very quiet. So I wanted to bring both you on because just because, um, so what's, what's, what's new, what's, what's cranking. What's up with uh, life? Just working. <laughs> Hoping Slow to get out sometime me. soon. Yeah. Waiting for uh, three more months of winter to go by. Yeah. <laughs> today's not today's not the day for that. No, it's not. <laughs> no. Those you don't know, we're getting hit here in Maine. So, uh, so Becca, I know you you're one to do uh, you're one to do extensive research. Is that what you do? Obviously, you're working, and of course, you're a mother and a wife. But in your downtime, do you do you research and get prepared? I do. It depends on where we're going. I try to get a little bit of info before we hit a certain spot, um, or local places, or just I'll even go on Google Maps, and if you do the satellite view as default it shows little cemeteries as green squares so i'll just oh. follow the roads all through the freaking woods and everything looking for old cemeteries and try to learn about them becca just told me her secret i don't so, yeah, know what from you <laughs> yeah because because we google awesome. map a lot of stuff we do that a oh, lot yeah. of times and just to look around but and i can tell obviously that there's different colors but if yeah. it's a if it's that green or darker green color hmm. it's a cemetery um, a lot of times, yeah, you got to be careful because like national like forest preserves will show up as green as well. But all oh. I do is zoom in to the square and switch it to satellite view, the real view, and you can see headstones from above. And Wow, that's fucking yeah. genius. And you know as well as I do in Maine, you can't throw a rock out hitting a fucking burial ground in Maine. I mean, Becca's, we, yeah, we've shown Becca some cool shit. She's shown, shown us some cool shit her way. Um, so that's cool. So let's let's put the spotlight on Hannah. Hannah, how did you? Uh, some people know, but a lot, not a lot, everybody knows. How did you get started? I know you were a coworker with Becca. Um, so I invited them to investigate a family property, and it was it went well. And uh, they kind of huddled together, and they're like, "We should have her join." <laughs> and they gave me the little fucking sticker. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm officially on the team. <laughs> Jeremy Phillips says hello to everyone. I love the name of it, Cemetery Diaries. It's very, very romantic. You know what I mean? It's that dark romantic. Called... I love it. That was 100% Lynn on that one. I was oh. coming up with like the worst names. Just like stupid <laughs> what shit. Was... Give me one of them. Oh God! Like boots and boots. <laughs> all, all, the, boots and... all all the fucking death metal bands you listen to, and you couldn't come up with a good name. All the fucking <laughs> I know the crazy ass metal bands, and she's like, um, I love it. That's, That's cool. Okay. Lynn nailed it. That's cool. It, so. That's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, I can't wait. I didn't know that about her. That's really cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
Lynn's very quiet too. I, uh, you know, she, of course she's busy and I know she's your stepmom, but, uh, she's pretty funny too on Facebook. Oh, mother-in-law. Oh, mother-in-law. Oh, no shit. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Thomas. Yeah. Duh. That's right. It's your husband. Where is your husband? Is it right there? Does Chris want to pop his head in? He's playing a game, but yeah, he's right here. Hey, Chris. Hey, everybody say hi to Chris. He's the one that puts up with Becca's shit. (laughs) They never mention it, but I am part of this damn team too. (laughs) That's right. He is. Good man. Look at him looking at you. I love that. Good people. You guys are both funny. You guys are great. Oh, I love it. That's All good right. shit. Well, I'm gonna let How's them it? do this because I'm not on the team. Boy. Get, say, get some gaming done, brother. Get some gaming done. Nothing wrong did with you, that. Does he does he have his own sticker or like did you let him have one? We share a car. We share a car, so yeah. I, I might let him if he gets his own car. Oh my god. Oh, I want a sticker from I want a sticker from my car. I have an assload of them in my bag. I'll have to give you one next time. Oh, uh, yeah. We spent the day with Becca. She made uh, Heather a really cool planchette, Ouija board planchette. We still have it in our car. We get a compliments on it, even though we only hang out with like four people. But people bring if it up. If it wasn't in like cool. a three foot snow drift, I'd go out and get it and show everybody. But it's uh, it's buried, buried out there. That Ouija board planchette. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a really fun day. That we was went fun. to how many cemeteries? Oh, God. I think we hit at least five or six it, of them. Ooh, let's In talk like about the place where the body was. Let's talk half. about the murder. I wanted to get. I, that's, I'm, thank you for bringing that up because we went to the graveyard where there was a body found. Remember the guy oh. was found in the field murdered? Oh, yes, that's uh, my favorite one up by my house, Pikes Hill Cemetery. It was established in 1797. Um, there are roughly 17 unmarked revolutionary or soldier civil war soldiers' graves there. But yeah, there was a murder October 13th, 1989, two days wow. before I was born, same year and everything. Oh, he was I, shot in the I head wouldn't know that if my, my mother grew up in the area and I was talking about us going investigating and my mom's like, oh yeah, this guy got, you know, back in the day, murdered right there at that cemetery. Crazy. Nuts. Because it's like not... Uh... South Paris, Maine, or Paris, Maine, or something. It's oh my God. Norway. Norway, yeah. Oh, Norway, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's a pretty cool one, and that's the same one that Heather and I unknowingly touched that giant thing of trees oh, at the yes. same time. And Remember I got the that? picture yes. of both you girls putting your energy into it, and I was just like, yep. "Wow!" There's just that was a great that tree. Character. I think there's a video online <laughs> you can see two 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 chicks, one tree, right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, <laughs> it probably <laughs> is not. <laughs> there ain't oh nothing hotter than two chicks in a cemetery touching a tree at the same time. I'm sitting there going, "This is amazing." <laughs> so, uh, so Hannah, what's what's your what's your bucket list? What's something that you've never gone? Have you been to like major haunts and like Lizzie Borden's or any old jails or anything? You no. was that something you'd be into? You think an old asylum or? <sighs> So I'm not, I mean, I'd love to do it, but I'm more, I see a bunch of people doing that already, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's more like finding stuff that nobody's been to. You know, you're God damn. This is why you're my fucking people, because that's the fucking <laughs> answer that I wanted to hear. Everybody does it. Let's go to the places that are, and that's what you guys are always doing. You look at Becca and she's like, look at this today. And I'm like where is this cemetery or this river or swamp? And you guys are always taking pictures. And of course, Hannah too, you live out kind of in the boons, so to speak. So there's a lot of cool shit to see. And uh, yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool shit. I got, that was I what I wanted. Previous podcast. <laughs> and uh, I got put on the spot and I'm not good when I get put on the spot, but I said Mount Everest, you know, nobody like Ooh. all sorts of bodies up there, restless spirits. That's. <laughs> but I'm too out of shape to get up there. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck that! There's snowmobiles and shit. Yeah, there's green shoes, right? Wasn't there a hiker that was identified by green, green shoes? Boots. Green boots. Yes, I remember that. All that was left was a skeleton and a pair of green boots in a fucking thermal bag, and they called them green boots. Yeah, they don't even know who he is, and he's on Mount Everest, man. Dead bodies every hour on that mountain. Oh, okay. We, you guys are alive out there. Wake the fuck up. It's Saturday. How many people? <laughs> Here have used Ouija boards and have su- success with them. I'll let the guests go ahead. Back up. 
I have. Um, my mom kind of got me my first Ouija board at 13, and for the longest time, I couldn't get it to work, but I ended up being able to use it with my mom, and then at one point, alone, barely touching it, and it told me some crazy shit. It actually, back when I was younger, I asked it who I was going to marry. You know, I was like 14, just asking stupid questions. Yeah. And it said, Thomas. And I was like, Thomas? And I was like, how old am I going to be? And it said 23. I met Chris, Chris Thomas, when I yeah. was 17, and he was 23. <sighs> it, it was weird. But. Sometimes they're they're not precise, but they give you in the ballpark. Like they, they can't exactly figure out. But that's linked. Wow, right. that's a wild story. Oh, no it was sh- crazy. But yeah, and now wow. I make them. So. Oh, I didn't know that. You make your own spirit boards. Very cool. Yeah, Becca, from I, didn't know that. I know you yeah. did wax and you did your own little witchies type herbs, but no shit. Yeah. Wow. And for those of you listening, that snoring is Heather's bulldog. It's not a fucking ghost or demon. <laughs> can, can you hear it. that? Oh, man. Oh, can yeah, you hear I that? Hear I love it. Uh, Hannah, what about you? Any Hi, Ouija boards? My oh, mom yeah. has like a really, like, I think it's almost original, very close to being an original one. I fucked around with it a little bit, but I, I never really had to. Like, my, my parents' home has been in my family for like over 200 years so there's no need to like conjure up spirits they're they're there (laughs) right they don't need a they don't need a ticket they're like yo we put the ouija board down hannah have a coffee what are you talking about (laughs) right put that old old country music back on do you find they come out when you play music or anything you find them more active when you i know you 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 girls love your music hockey hockey there's no shit Mm. Well, she's, got, <laughs> she's got cat a cat ball that I gave her, which will randomly it won't do shit for weeks, and then for a few days it goes off nonstop. I gotta get so, one of those. I do like those. They're fun. I have it few. set up on a on like a headband, so there and I've like smashed the wall and everything, the shelf, jiggled everything, and it doesn't go off. You like me? You give the you have the test first. Okay, well it's gonna be a reason. Just in, I want it to be a ghost, but just in case, so I'm not fucking nuts. Let's see. No, 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 it's not going off. Yeah. What does that tell you, uh, Jeremy? All right, our one listener. What's all right? It's early still. Um, he asks you, Hannah, uh, what is your first, a uh, very first experience, ghost wise? Um, I was I was a kid and I looked out into the yard and saw this man out there in this very, like, a peaceful light. I, I don't know how to explain it to people that haven't seen <laughs> Very calming light. Um, and here's... Like an aura. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or like, no? Like a real no, light, huh? it wasn't there. <laughs> wow. No shit. But, but it turns out like, later on the down, down the road, I found out it was a relative of mine. So I've always felt like that was my, you know, guardian angel spirit. Spirit guide. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. Uh, hey, Becca, same question to you. When was the first time you saw an entity or have you ever heard something? Um, I have more or less witnessed weird things happening around. I've never actually fully seen one, but I remember after I had that Ouija board as a teenager, there was one night I was trying to go to bed and a box just slowly slides off my bureau and just falls to the ground. Um, (laughs) There was the time my mom brought me investigating a cemetery out in Litchfield and she's, you know, recording, asking questions. And when we reviewed it, something yelled in the background that sounded just like it was just somebody else away in the woods yelling something. But it didn't happen while we were there. We didn't hear a damn thing. Wow, man. Yeah, I got goosebumps from both your stories. I love that shit. Heather, uh, I know you're kind of quiet. You got any questions for the for our guest? Anything you want to add while I shake these goosebumps off? I love it. Well, where's the what's the what's the first thing you guys are gonna do once all the snow melts? And and um, is there any events you're gonna be? trying to get to or um any any places you're hoping to investigate yeah there's a um quite a few places we want to hit 
course I'm going to have a brain fart right now. Anyway. <laughs> Take your time. No rush. No rush. <laughs> Think about it. I know I want to go back to Smith Anderson. We've been there a few times. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. And Wyndham, Maine. But, oh, yeah. God. Oh, yeah. I love the Anderson Crip. We had some, well, we had that knocking that Hannah caught, which I didn't even hear it on the thing, but she heard a knocking after I had knocked on one part. But no we kidding. also got some crazy EMF responses back to back to back at the little girl's grave. Oh, um, Frida. Or Fre yeah, uh, Alfreda. Yeah, Frida. Alfreda, right. Alfreda, yes. Yeah. No, oh, the little baby with all the yeah. Wow, that's that's the go to's, and of course the crypt that's always open. Right. But that's cool, you guys. You guys know the knocking thing. If you knock it, a lot of people don't know that. It's well, of course you would know that. You guys know your fucking shit. Um, I have yet to, to hear about? that. I've yet to hear that knock. That's amazing. Yeah. It's crazy. Do you still have the clip, Hannah? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. But other than that, I want to hit Seguin Island, Wood Island, you know, get out to the coast more, hit some cemeteries out that way. Oh, I got to tag you. I just got a notification from Friends of Wood Island, September 10th. I know. Yep. It's, yeah. A light, yeah. All right. I cool. I already put, I put interested on it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Wood I Island. Should, that's, yeah. that's, a, that's a good story. I think we, we should, should all tell go out there and make a big Cemetery Diaries Historically Haunted Day and just go out there. Hell yeah. That would be well. You know, we do stuff all the time. I mean, outside of Facebook, we try to do more. I mean, it's it, you guys are in Central Maine, of course, we're in Southern. But when we came down, uh, Becca came down this past summer for a little bit and uh, met at the flea market. <laughs> and, that was cool. Um, we ended up going to. Um, did we, did we go to Mary Nason's grave. Did we bring you there to the White Witch of York, right or no? Where do we go? We went to the the cake house, the wedding cake house. Yes. Bush's compound, right? Isn't that it? Yeah. We didn't uh, go to the White Witch. Some other cemeteries too. Oh God! And that friggin' demonic, like red store. Heather wouldn't go in with me. No. Oh no! Ah, fuck. You're gonna have no. to tell me the name of that again because I have to. Uh, R H R period H period Jorgensen J O E R. It's it's an old okay. antique store. Me and Heather went in there. I'm gonna switch it real quick. I know it's yeah, not my. But um, so we went in there on a whim because we were just, you know, selling shit at the time. And we went in. There was an older lady and she's very nice, but all dolled up. She was take a look around. And the, I swear to God, the cheapest thing in there was 500 fucking bucks. Like everywhere you look, there's like 3,000, 4,000. I go, where the fuck are we? I go, don't sneeze because we're going to be fucked. <laughs> so we're walking around and then we're getting far away from her in like four rooms of this old house. And I think it was built in like 1720, she said. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm surprised she's not watching us. She trusts us. And then these two fucking werewolves come out of the back room, these dogs, huh, Heather? With shoulders okay. like linebackers for the New England God. Patriots. So they came they, out and they, they look at us. They didn't bark. They didn't do nothing. And they literally corralled us out of there. I'm a big boy. You know what, you know like, what German shepherds look like? Oh, on, these were just no. a little bit bigger. They just, they were just a little bit bigger to not be right, but not big enough to. Oh, not dude. be a dog for some reason, you know what I mean? Blink. They didn't and fucking they, blink. They, they got up oh. and just walked Never. to us. And you know me, I love animals. Yep. My God. And they came I, out of the I'm, back, two of them. I, they he, they wouldn't look at me, so I'm like, all right, I'm not going to look this dog in the eye. So I could not look these animals in the eye, but they just kept walking, so I had to keep walking away. Take a step towards me, so I'm closer to it. So I had to go keep, I'm like, okay. Like, say if you were, um, like someone's trying to, to, to catch yeah, you doing something there, you know, and this dog, right to the front door. And we said. Two of them. And, and, just, then, yeah. and then she was talking to this lady at the counter. That's right. Uh, no. And the lady at the counter didn't even acknowledge us. It was like they were having this conversation and this whole other time. This whole oh other my thing. God. That's so weird. You go out, it was there's, a river, there's a river here with an old dam, and there's a well up front, and then there's this tree, almost like it's fake, and it's growing on the house, and it's got the limbs coming out. I got a picture on Facebook. I'll show you later. It's, I don't know. And I think that you guys, because you guys, Becca, you're sensitive, and, and, and Hannah, you must be, I think you, you must be able to, to feel things. You saw the aura, so to speak. So I think you guys could pick up on the house, too. I know the day we went through, Becca, you're like, something wasn't right. You like the well. Yeah, I know. But... <laughs> I don't, I don't even know. It was just an uneasy feeling. Very, like, uneasy. 
Um, we're talking about uh, Wood Island, Jeremy. Yeah. Becca, you want to talk about Wood Island at all, about the history there? Okay, so I get, the, I get the two confused. Wood Island is the one that was the caretaker that snapped and killed the... Um, Not the right? piano. Yeah, the piano Seguin. Okay, Seguin Island's the piano. Yeah. That's the one I want to go to really bad. Yes. That one. Tell them about that one. So we, people, a lot of people do know, but those that aren't from Maine, the dude uh, bought a piano for his wife and she played one chord for like, what, three months straight? <laughs> or one song or something? Yeah. And people report hearing that tune play over the waves in the evening in the summer. Oh, I didn't so, know that. Oh, you didn't hear that part? I knew that... Uh, he kind of snapped and he kind of chopped her and the piano up with an axe. But then they said that he killed him. They turned he turned it on himself. And I know he, that's that's what I didn't get either. How do you act murder yourself? I guess you could cut your limbs off and bleed to death. I, but well, we I need to go. We need to go to the island and just try to figure it out. We Hannah, you know how to play piano? Out. We're gonna bring you to the island, have you play a piano, and we'll stand back and watch and see what happens. Yeah, we're gonna see what happens. See if see if you stay alive. <laughs> and he sings up the piano. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. And uh, and Wood Island Light, uh, that was just a vagabond living there, and he he, he killed the sh uh, was it the sheriff or the housekeeper or something? The care uh, I think it was the caretaker, right? Yes. But then he shot himself because he felt guilty for killing him. So they say they both haunt the island still. And that's in Bitterford Pool. That's in the Atlantic Ocean off Maine. Maine's got so many islands up by Bar Harbor where pirates were hung. And then you go to like Smutty Nose Island, Maine, New Hampshire, where those two girls were killed. Fuck it. And then you got, what, uh, what's what's that island that they're digging on all the time? Curse of Oak Island. That's Oak New Brunswick. Island. <laughs> yeah. That's by Maine. Yeah. Yep. That's not far from Maine. If you Google Earth it, I think it's four hours away from Lewiston. <laughs> Really? Not that I've, yeah, it's literally, it's right through, uh, you go through New Brunswick and then St. Croix, and then right there's the bridge that goes to the island. It's, it's, yeah, I, it's right I through drove there. through by there when I went to Nova Scotia. Oh, I you did, there. you went by there? Well, did you see? I was in the vicinity. <laughs> yeah. Did you see uh, cranes and stuff in the area or just did? No. Yeah. I was, I didn't really know about it at the time. I was just ready to get up north. <laughs> I want to go buy it, mm -hmm. but I kind of uh, don't want to go buy it at the same time. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite? Oh, for me. Well, I guess for me, I just uh, my favorite piece of equipment for an investigation. Um, I just like recording and taking pictures, but I do like other techniques like that cat ball Becca was talking about. What do you guys love to? Is that your go to the, the cat box? Do you guys do the spirit box and our uh, cat ball spirit box? Cat box. <laughs> <laughs> You guys Furbies, yeah? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta make a new piece of equipment called the cat box. Oh my god! But you hear the scratching and you look. Oh my god! Like, hours of it. Smells like an pneumonia. It smells like a pneumonia. It's time to change the litter box. Fucking animals, man! I love them. Like Christ, they stink. Uh, anyway, I so what do you? Them. I love them. Becca, do you use dowsing rods, Becca? I know you're, you're an herbalist, too. You kind of go to the witchy side, right? Yeah, we do have dowsing rods. We haven't used them a whole lot. Um, we used them out in Otisfield and got some really weird communication going on. They just were having us, like, follow a certain path through the cemetery and then try to get us to go past the rock wall. And it was nighttime. Wow. They're like, no. <laughs> yeah. there. I actually used them at that home case and yes. they just pointed at Becca. Like, oh my God, I forgot about that. <laughs> Why would it really? Yeah. Whoa. So, I, you know, we've exhausted like everything there. And I'm like, let's try the dowsing rods because we were trying to find the, the grave or where to put them, you know. And I have them, and they literally just kept going towards Becca. And I'm like, okay, stand over here. And they'd go, oh, oh, oh. they'd follow me. No shit. It was weird. That's fucking wild. Wow. They loved you. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let's get a little personal for the hell of it. Uh, what you guys is, I, I, I kind of already know, but for people listening, and, and I don't know all the people listening right now, but it'll be on my YouTube tomorrow. So there'll be people that watch later on. Um, what's your guys' go-to band? I know some of Becca's and Hannah's, but what, tell the people which let's have make let's have fun. What's your favorite music type bands? Top, go top ahead, five. Hannah. Black label top five. 
BLS. Zach yeah, Wild. Zach Wild. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Metall uh, just you know, Megadeth, all of it. <laughs> Fucking Megadeth. I saw Megadeth at House of Blues in Boston like four years ago. And Dave Mustaine came out and blew my fucking mind. I go, wow, this dude is a god. I mean, that's one of the top four. I saw, I saw him a while ago, more than four years ago. Oh. Oh, good, oh. man. That's the bulldog. Fucking. It's so cute. <laughs> So we got Megadeth. We got um, what was your first one? Black Label Society. BLS. And I know you like your country because you comment on my David Allen Co. videos when I share them. I really like. I I play guitar, all sorts of instruments. You know, I I love all music. No shit. Yeah, I didn't know you play guitar. That's really cool. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, Jeremy saw them. <laughs> David Draymond's here from Disturbed, it sounds like. <laughs> oh, I know Becca. Becca Becca's a Slipknot fan. Slipknot and Flames, El Nino in this moment. But I listen to a little bit of everything. You know, oldies, country, even classical. Yeah, she really does. If you give you those, uh, Athena. You got a question, Athena? No, no one's got a bone for you. Um, that's funny. Yeah, Becca's, uh, that's cool. Becca posts uh, a lot of, if you're friends with Becca, she posts a lot of funny shit. Basically like old school houses in the middle of the woods, old school cars, music videos, and a bunch of cemetery shit. You really can't go wrong. Hannah's kind of the same way for the most part. And I know no drama, too, just, just no. fun stuff. Heather's yeah, fun wolf stuff. Man and, yeah, every time you see Becca, it's either ghost hunting, working, taking care of my kids, Shitting on my husband, or fucking, uh, or your, or flea marketing, or going to a flea market or something. It's very, very chill. Hannah's the same way. I mean, Hannah's pretty chill. She's got her cat and her animals, and so that's cool, you know. Um, shit, we got like a half hour left. What do you girls want to talk about? I know. I'll I wanted right to know. Okay, oh. and the, okay. When she comes back, I want to find out more about how the trip was to Admiral Perry Inns. When she stayed there. Oh, yes. Well, I got a question for Hannah real quick. Hannah, what's your bucket list? What's one you, if someone was like, you got any place to go tomorrow for free, would it be like, do you have, I know you don't, you don't really like to commercialize stuff so much, but is there maybe like a state you'd like to see, like Gettysburg, Salem, Massachusetts? Have you been to Gettysburg yet? You like that? New Orleans? New Orleans, huh? <laughs> I, I like my crawfish. I really do. <laughs> I have never had one. I've 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 oh, seen I, them, but I've never funny. I've never dared to try one. Is it is it just is it like shrimp? Like they say, it's like shrimp, right? Yeah, you just you know you break off the tails. It's great, <laughs> spicy. I, I know Dave Childers loves them. There's yeah, he does. Guy. Well, so so crawfish, vampires, and voodoo priestesses for Hannah sounds like in <laughs> New Orleans. That's a pretty cool swamps and bayous and shit. Pirates and all that fun stuff. Obviously, oh. I love oh, the side. I love pirates. <laughs> oh, I love pirates. It's the one place we haven't gone in Salem yet. It's a pirate museum. They have a lot of good stuff yes. there. Black yes, yes. Next, yeah. we have to do it. We just have to do it. We've gone by it too many times. No more. We're just going. I'll almost go. Let's spring. We'll it. all fucking tailgate down there. That'd that sounds cool. good. As soon Jump as it opens, yeah. Um. Oh, okay. Who... Hey, Jeremy, thank you for uh, being so active tonight in chat. Um, who here has a spirit box and is able to take out the antenna? Anybody want to take it out right now for Jeremy? Give him a little uh, paranormal boner or what? I tried it on ours, but the screw became stripped, so now I can't even get it out. Oh, no way. Wow. Mm -hmm. See, that's the hard part. They're so expensive. If something goes wrong with these things, it's like, fuck, what do I do now? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I have cool. like a, a Reader's Digest radio, like with the CB on it, and it's it's ancient. I mean, not ancient, but it's old. All <laughs> sorts of um, different bandwidths on it, and I tried to make that into a spirit box, and a couple things came through, but it's, it's like this big, you know, like eighty dollars <laughs> oh, that's cool. Something fucking Ed Warren would use. Like, I love that look. I love that. Like a boombox, like communicate with the spirits. 
And it's outside the ghost's window, like that dude in that movie cranking it. <laughs> I just look at it. one of the tough movies that they get now. He's holding the radio. Oh man, that's funny as hell. Um, let me see. Let me think of something fun to ask. Let me think of something fun to ask. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's Admiral see. Perry. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, I had a question for Beck. Beck. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. So you guys recently, you just stayed at the Admiral Perry and we saw the pictures, how gorgeous it was, but I want to know more about what you felt while you were walking through the rooms, because I know what the inside of it looks like. So, you know, like, how did it feel? What what was your experience? Like from the time you got there? It just felt, I mean, it was really homey for one. It didn't feel bad, negative, anything like that. It, it still, okay, it's going to sound weird, but it felt lived in. Like, not by just people, but yeah. certain rooms felt more yeah. occupied. Like, mm-hmm. I can't remember the name or which rooms were what, but um, there was one room. It's where they smell the Admiral's pipe smoke. That oh, room, yes. That's the room I felt the most when we did the tour. But that's the that's the bedroom. Remember the girl gave the tour and she goes, Oh, and I smell the smoke, and I go, please, no smoking in here, and then it goes away. Yes, <laughs> that one. Yeah. And I know there's been sightings and stuff from all over, but that for me, that's the one I felt the most in. The closet is that the stuff. room is that the room with a big mural of like Italy on the wall or something? It's like painted. Yes. Right? Yes, with the she goes, she goes, I make the bed in this room. Yes, that's yes, that's the room with tobacco all back. And that she goes, one, and on the yeah. bed I look at I make it this this there's a little fanny print, a little butt print on my bed after I make it, she said. In that same room. And I said, Holy shit. And of course, the captain's room is where a girl is seen in the window, and then the oh my god, the little black Abby. boy is seen in the yep. Yes, Abby, Abigail. The girl, she was telling us that her neighbors will actually call her up and be like, Abby's in the window again. It's like apparently so common, <laughs> like it's no big deal. And we caught something in that slave room closet, the secret passageway. On Chris's phone, there was, um, he was in there and we had our laser grid pointed into the room, the green laser grid. And he was oh. sitting there just recording and something black flashed in front of Holy his shit. phone twice, but never broke any um, beams. So we we don't know what it was, but wow, holy shit! Hannah's Look getting attacked by a fucking mountain head. lion. What the fucking cougar? What white lynx just jumped yes, on your lap? Yeah. Hannah, I'm looking at Hannah. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my good lord! I I literally thought you were getting attacked by a bobcat. That cat, yeah, neck Admiral Perry, is so thick. It's like fucking oh my God. massive. Huge. I just it almost it, it scumped her whole body. It was just covered it. Yeah. <laughs> you see that, Heather? You see the fucking cat she just had? Hannah just got attacked by a mountain lion the size of a small goat. <laughs> just see it. Holy shit. Um, our boy Jeremy. I hope to check out lighthouses in New England area. Hopefully, there's a castle or something. Yeah, there's uh there's a couple actually. There's um Shit, what's that one in New Hampshire on Lake Winnipesaukee? If a Kimball Castle, it's all gray. Um, yep. blah blah blah. Scotland ties. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. Um, oh, we got a new listener, uh, Kathy. She's a big supporter of the show. Thank you, Kathy, for tuning in. What do you guys use for protection in a different type of situations? Uh, also, have you ever had any poltergeist experiences? You no, it's not good question. Well, for protection, I mean, yeah, we use like certain stones sometimes or whatnot or we'll bring sage with us but for me personally i think it's more about your intention when you go in there and your mindset more than whatever you're carrying on you i think your protection comes best from yourself the last time i got to hear them i remember going with becca and she said that cemetery she goes thank you for your time and she was like you're very respectful i that's cool Sorry, Hannah, go please, ahead. please stay here. Also, yes, we yeah. always yeah. say you need yeah. to stay here. <laughs> That's one big thing for Heather. Please don't follow us back. So yeah. You're not welcome to you stay here. My yeah. house, I have got set up so no bullshit walks through the door at all, even people. <laughs> so that pretty much helps me. 
So what do you got, like salt around your doorways and a railroad spike in each corner and all that old traditional witch shit? My keeps stones above the door. And, um, yeah, nobody visits what works. <laughs> and I know, Becca, you're big into that. You love your, your sage. You're always getting Every time I look, you got crystals and lavender. And uh, what's your go-to crystal or gem? Uh, Labradorite. I love lab. But that's a big one for Heather. Too. Yeah, Heather I think I think I think I do. Yeah. And I think I think Becca and I want to live in like the same type of house, like the same, like literally we picture it's like it's in the woods. A witchy it's, cottage. It's covered with trees. <laughs> oh, I love yeah. it. I could see you, it's, it's like, Hannah, Lynn, Angel Row. I could see yeah. all the witches going around just passing a joint yeah. around. Uh, I'm sorry, a, a well, cigarette, yes. whatever. Around the fire. Just Yeah. <laughs> You girls are cool. That's that's I like it. people go. Oh, you know what? I remember growing up. People were like, oh, girls can't. You know, you, like the you know, girls are scared of cemeteries and ghosts. But to see uh, a lot of empowered females and strong-willed females that do what your ladies do, all three of you, and then even more watching. Just it's it's most guys won't fucking go into a cemetery at midnight, and if they do, they're just oh, it's stupid. They don't really take protection or it seriously. And for you. Yeah, you girls lead the way, and I'm fucking I'm honored to know all three of you, honestly. Thank you. Uh, and I, I'm, gotta, that's no bullshit. You know, stones, um, just you know, good thoughts and Judge Judy. <laughs> we always have. Judge oh my Judy god, that's Heather's that. going. And what do you got in that canister? Oh Hannah, is holy water in there? Is that what do you got? A soda pop? Grandpa's cough medicine? What do you got? <laughs> you ain't fooling no one with that fucking QB Halloween thermos. Yeah, 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 okay, we're just gonna do that. <laughs> I told you I'll I'll call you this. out. Check this fucking thermos yeah. out. Oh <laughs> that's not grandma's cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you now, a witchy dying. cottage in the woods, <laughs> Kathy <laughs> says. Um, yes, Beck is always Beck is always posting these pictures of she she must follow all these witch groups. Right? You must follow about eight hundred witch groups. But <laughs> she just lot. you always see these cottages that I'm just like I go Heather, look at that one. It's fucking little triangle house in the middle of the woods, and all these people want these big a frame. Yeah, I mean everybody yeah. wants their beach house, which is cool too. But to be tucked in the woods by a stream, that's pretty wild too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Someday. Someday. <laughs> Oh, my I brother was, Kenneth Torres. I was Torres. lucky to grow up with a house by a river. I'm super lucky. The sound. Oh, oh my God. Cool. That was amazing. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> a weight water bottle. <laughs> yeah, Kenneth Torres is good people. He's a, a fellow member of the Warren Legacy. I'm newly appointed. Well, I'm on a 90 day probation, the Warren Legacy Foundation. Which Congratulations. Is pretty cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it was pretty yeah, cool. So cool. And, um, and that's why, like, I'm gonna stay true, though. I'm not gonna change for anybody, and I'm gonna no. do. My, I'm gonna. And that's why I wanted to bring you guys on because if I'm gonna have people on my show, I don't want people just for ratings. That I don't give a shit. If it, I want my friends, and I want people that I that are cool. And uh, yeah. I know Becca's super tired right now. She's not bored, guys. She's just I'm tired. Good. She's cool. <laughs> tired. <laughs> she works her ass off, and you know she likes her edib uh, chocolates and goodies and stuff that make her. Well, didn't she just get yeah. out of work too? Right before this. Yeah. No. Yesterday. I don't um, know. Oh, whatever. Work we're, sucks we're no matter what. A, we're behind a whole day. Shoot. It's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we're also three um, feet okay. of snow right now. I'm surprised the power has not gone out. Thank God. Yeah. Knock on wood again. So where are you guys going pretty soon when you can get out? What's your plan? Well, yesterday Tomorrow? we just hit up. A, a, well, Be Becca follows this, the Atlas Obscura. We fought, we went to uh, the restaurant yesterday, uh, which was cool. You know me. Uh, any, anytime I could stop any place. Yeah. Um, shoot, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, obviously the snowstorm, but I'd love to get the Bucks Tomb. I got to get the Bucks yeah. Port and see that's, that. Grave, that's but... kind of your. That's the one that you've been really wanting in in the state of Maine. That we just. Yeah. It, we just can't plan it. We can't plan it just right because you have to kind of plan that one. It's a little too far away. You I've seen it. Well? You've seen it? Yeah. My uh, my parents brought me to. Let's see. We went to the the grave 
we went to Fort Knox and then we camped in uh, Belfast when I was a kid. Oh, that's dope. I went to Fort Knox as a kid, but I never went to Buck's tomb. And of course, the whole story about how he got a girl pregnant and it was supposedly he called her a witch because he was he had a wife and then she was burned and her leg rolled out. Or she said yeah. she'd dance on his tomb forever and there's a foot that appeared. It's a cool lore, whatever. And of course, the what is it, Emily's or no shit, Sarah Ware, right? She was decapitated in Bucksport and their head was missing or something. And so there's a murder there. It's but. just it's such a beautiful town. Yeah, it is. It's so I mean, there's just something about Maine towns like that anyway. I love them. Have you guys? Oh, you gotta you you check out some of Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> I was like, you gotta check out. I want to give you a shout out. I said, you gotta check out Cemetery Diaries. That's who my guests are. For those of you watching, Jeremy, uh, Kenneth Torres, Kathy Elkis, thank you guys for tuning in. My my friends here, Hannah and Becca, are on Cemetery Diaries. Um, check them out on Facebook. They do a lot of beautiful, um, just pictures, not just pictures, but their pictures are beautiful, but they do detail and they are paranormal investigators, they are researchers, um, they are witches, <laughs> they, they are metalheads, and but they also are families. Uh, their wives, their their mothers and sisters and daughters, and just normal people that have a great interest in shit. Um, what are you guys watching for movies right now or or, or uh, anything like that? You binging anything? I tried Room Six today. I think that's the name of it. Room Six. Yeah, it was uh, all over the place, to be honest. But <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I heard of it. I'll check it out. It's like a thriller or something, or like a mystery. Oh, she's disappeared. She's a magician. That's how mysterious it is. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Room six. Oh, I think Ooh. we've seen that. <laughs> no, interesting. I still have DVDs. <laughs> I like to collect them too. Mm-hmm. What's up, Jim Brown? What's going on? Jim's a, a fellow Mainer. Well, he's kind of on the border of Freiburg, actually. Um, sorry. So, Becca, what were you saying before I cut you off to plug your team? I, you, I totally cut you off. That was rude. No, you're fine. I was going to ask if you guys have ever checked out Riverside Cemetery in Lewiston. You had to have. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You um, had to have, Adam. Riverside's got that little trail that leads to the overpass leading to the yeah. uh, the Auburn Mall, but there's a little yeah. stream there and shit. Isn't there a grave, Crowley's grave, where some dude was stabbed and left and died and they found his body on a Crowley's tomb? Right? Shit. There's yes. been a lot of wacky yeah, shit there. Um, lots of people that have seen apparitions, like dressed in older attire. It's a very, there's so many friggin' stones in that one. It just goes on and on, and there's a big Whoa. crypt and. Yeah, but a lot of reports come out of that one. You guys should check it out if you're up here. It's pretty too, because right when you go in, you get the big tomb that holds the bodies for the storage, but then the roads go off, and it's yep. kind of a garden cemetery because you almost get lost in it. Yeah, I haven't been there in years. It's a nice one. When I was 16, uh, I was there in the evening, and I was down below on the trail with my car. And I, yes. went to leave, I went to leave as the sun was setting, and the caretaker had locked me in there. I've he heard was, that people are getting locked in the big metal <laughs> fucking gate. No way. He was what still on the ground, thank God. Thank so God. I just went and got him, but he warned oh. me not to stay late. <laughs> was he pissed? Was he like, ah, stupid kids? Kind of. I mean, he was decent about it, but you could tell he was kind of annoyed. Most of those caretakers are. I mean, what is it? You just, it's just a cemetery. You're not getting grief from I any know, of the clients. Yeah. Like, what are you well, really mad about? But it because you can't trust crazy. humans. Oh my God. You can't trust humans to wow. go in and not do shit after dark. Well, that's the that's thing. Not... You go into Riverside Cemetery now, and there's posters up with like five hundred dollar rewards to who's been um, vandalizing the stones and partying wow. out back. Wow. It's that's not... why it's people ruin it so hard. People ruin it for ghost hunters like us because they think we're fucking kicking over tombstones or spray painting or. Right. Fucking eating a goat upside down or something stupid. <laughs> Instead, we're picking up trash and removing bottles and straightening up decorations. Yeah, trying to that talk was, to lost souls. That was me. There's a lot of us that would do good. That would clean very nice. What were you, what were you saying? Oh, so I I brought Becca up to Patch Mountain Cemetery in Greenwood, <laughs> and I'm I'm over here like. Who's fucking throwing bottles out, like picking them up and shoving them like <laughs> under my arm so I can bring yeah. them down? <laughs> oh, I that love was, that. That was a crazy ride up there. She told me it was a dirt road. <laughs> 
I mean, technically it was dirt, but it was more like a dried up fucking riverbed with boulders we had to like go around and I just got my RAV4. It's technically, yeah, you, it's a four You kept system. going. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking all three like, fucking fuck graveyard it. dude. Hey, <laughs> the car did great. <laughs> it's awesome. It's an off-road park slash graveyard. What do you want from us? <laughs> yeah, we go where we need to. <laughs> That's killer. That's killer. So, you know, that, oh, sorry. Cause that just reminded me, cause Becca, you've, you've had like car issues here and there quite often lately. Yeah. And you, have you mentioned, was it you that you thought that it could be you going to the cemeteries or you weren't sure if he was going to the cemeteries with it? Yeah. I, it's, I don't know how I feel about it. There has been yeah. several really weird things that have happened in that car, like paranormal things, like nothing. It just doesn't make sense. There was one time I was on my way home from a client's house and I had a shirt draped over the back bench seat mm -hmm. and I was smoking a cigarette and the window was cracked open like this much. And I saw something move in my rear view mirror and I looked back, I'm like, what the fuck? Didn't notice anything. Two minutes later, my shirt came flying forward and hit the back of my seat. And there was no Whoa. other open windows. It doesn't make sense how that happened. There was another time I was at a, one of my clients' house and she asked me to investigate and whatnot. And she had actually found a trigger object. She found a slipper that was what caused her spouse's burns on her feet, which is what caused his death later. Whoa. And I was using that and then I, we got an EVP that said, I'm sorry. Wow. But after I had left her house, I was on my way home in my car listening to The Offspring, you know, a song I know very well, every word to it. And out of the blue, I heard a man's voice like from behind, but like a little bit distant, say two different things. I couldn't hear what it said, but I absolutely heard a man's voice say two different things in my car. Holy and I know shit. it wasn't the song. I know. Oh, it. man. It was like five minutes after I had left her house from doing the using the trigger objects and doing EVPs. It was crazy. It's almost like it drew the power from all, almost like maybe the music or just it said, I'm just going to come out now. Because like you say, if you know a song word for word, you know if there's hidden lyrics and shit. And you know that like, that wasn't part right. of the fucking song. No. That's what, wow. That's pretty wild. Offspring's killer, by the way. So that's a good shout out. Uh, Jeremy, Hi, Amanda. Man, it says hi everyone. Man is cool. She does um oh shit. Two witches and and uh, uh a ghost podcast. Shoot, two 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 witches and a and um a spirit podcast. Yeah, that's what she does. But anyway, um thank you, Amanda, for watching. Uh Jeremy, what do you guys um use to do your EVPs and how do you analyze them? Is there any specific program you use? That's gonna be Hannah. <laughs> oh, I was, I was I was funny. I was just gonna ask, what do you guys have? Like Becca's, I guess, like the researcher type thing. Hannah must be the electronics, maybe. You do that, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I. <laughs> I you guess, all like, do it together, but you know what I mean. I I rarely I'll take pictures with my phone, but I I never. Yeah, got spirit. Um, but I'll oh. do. Your spirit. Sorry, Amanda. <laughs> Sorry. I'll, uh, if they ask me to, I'll take clips and enhance them on my computer or enhance Ooh. photos. And um, it's just regular iMovie because I have a Mac. Um, but it does enhance audio quite a bit. And it takes it takes time. I mean, that's the part I remember watching Ghost Hunters and shit when they do reviewing the evidence and they sit there for hours. And of course, they cut it for TV time, but you know they're there for like six hours just listening to headphones and re listening and rewinding. And it's tedious, man. And, and being a ghost hunter, it's not as glorious as people think. People go, well, oh, I could do it. And they do the weekend warrior shit. But you guys, you two are a really, it's your life. And you just figured, fuck it, I might as well just make a page. Because honestly, with or without Cemetery Diaries, you're still going to do what you do. Becca. Exactly. Is that fair? Like, you, you've been a forward, forager for years. I mean, all your pictures of all your rivers and, and same thing with you, Anna, I imagine. So it just seems natural to, to be a part of a team. But this is you guys, 100%. Am I right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, I'm always out in the woods and shit. I have a, my own personal photography, like, 
amateur photography that I do. Plug so, it. What do you, where I'm can like, people reach you? Where amateur is the best you? kind. Sorry. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, really that's right. the passion. That's Dolly the passion. Photography. What is it? I'm going to type it in. Hold on. Dahlia Photography. Oh, Dahlia. Like Black Dahlia? Black Dahlia is my favorite flat work. Literally, oh. like. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. That's <laughs> fucking amazing. A side note, one of my favorite bands is the Black Dahlia Murder. But, <laughs> I, but I mean, okay. Yeah, I saw them live. There. Heather's actually into them. What? I like one song. I don't really know the others. <laughs> Oh, okay. Dahlia Photography. I'm going to type it in chat. I don't think I spelt it right because I'm fucking stoned. And my computer is kinda, I think you did. Uh, I got a couple more vowels than I need. But Dahlia, like the Black Dahlia, D-A-H-L-I-A Photography. Look it up on Facebook and get Some Hannah. Photograph um, a your Funeral, wedding, bar mitzvah, anything. She'll take pictures of your squirrels, your cemeteries, your dogs. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> and of course, Cemetery Diaries. Uh, I diaries love show and tell time. B I A R I E S in cemetery, of course. And you, you can send Becca for request, but don't be a fucking weirdo fucking skeezer because she'll block you. But what's your mother? Like? Hannah and Becca are pretty good chicks, and they'll they're you know they they'll support. Becca is always sharing and promoting my stuff, and people tune into this. You guys should like that. You guys should like this. You guys should like that. Becca is a promotion machine, and I appreciate that. Look at this fucking Anytime. monstrosity. Do you see the size? If of I didn't see. If I wasn't oh my, watching this live, yeah, I would not normal. believe. I thought I would say you photoshopped that. If I was not gonna, watching this live, you are a fake photoshopper person. That is not a real cat. I gotta call Lauren Coleman. I gotta call the fucking cryptozoology museum guy, and he's Holy gonna pay shit, money. To that's that the best baby that, in the world. That can't be fucking normal. That cat is huge. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna watch. This, I'm gonna watch this video a million times now because that was that just made my whole life. She just oh, everybody loves the cat. She brought the cat all the beginning. We would have had more listeners. <laughs> is is that the cat me. that jumped on you? Yeah. Oh, I picked him up the first time, but he knocked my light over, so I <laughs> had to get him to the window. Yeah. I want one. Do you guys all notice that my my co-host and my guest have all brought in their animals? <laughs> We've seen dogs, cats, <laughs> fucking husbands. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, or, or maybe they, I don't know. They, they they could be they could be uh they could be boyfriends and husbands. Who fucking knows what these people? Who knows? Hopefully, that's Hannah. Right. Husband, huh? <laughs> if he's <laughs> oh, geez, he's like, uh, that's my boy. Like a skinwalker type thing? No, no. Like a shapeshifter? <laughs> no, like Becca's fucking turkey with the five inch fuck with a five foot long penis. <laughs> or the or the just the doing it solo, right? Like I was saying, man, all you girls you are saw amazing. That oh yeah, <laughs> that was funny. Oh, oh man, all right, we got we got about twelve minutes. We got about twelve minutes left. Um, anything else you guys want to plug? I know it's 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 the photography thing and Cemetery Diaries, but that's pretty much it, right? I mean, you kind of do your own solo shit. Yeah. No. Oh. Look That's at fucking question. Jeremy. Jeremy, uh, he's posed as Batman. He's, but you he's you gold are a star. Batman tonight. Gold star. Rose oh, Red. Oh. Yes, Rose Red. Oh, that's the only one I haven't seen. What? It I haven't seen so Rose good. Red, and I haven't seen the other one. There's a um, because I got like a five pack, and there's another one I haven't. I've seen Secret Window. I've seen Storm of the Century. Oh, I've seen all that. What the fuck is Rose Red? What is that? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I got mine Anna, Miss Discography. She's a blockbuster and a human blockbuster. Here it comes, Jeremy. Here comes Rose Red. She's getting it for you. Rose Red. Doesn't even I remember familiar. that picture. I don't think I've seen that movie either. It Please give me oh, it's back. fabulous. Give me a small trailer. Tell me something. I gotta know. What's it about? Okay, so it's San Francisco, uh 1920s. Before that, would you say Becca? Huh? <laughs> yeah, uh, well, she didn't think she'd last an hour, but we got almost an hour out of her, so I'll take it. Becca. Guys are trying. Bravo, five, two gold stars for Becca tomorrow. For <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Becca, cheers. This one's for Sorry, you. Anna. Oh, my God. Heather, crack okay, those open. So All right, it's that time. <laughs> 
All right, I'll do coffee. Coffee's pretty much your alcohol. Let's face it, Becca. And Hannah's got her Budweiser. She just fucking chugged. Mouthful. <laughs> it's delicious. But yeah, oh. no. This is beautiful. I wonder this... if it's on Netflix or... Nope. No. We Shit. have to go um, fucking buy it. Really? Not on Hulu? Nothing? San Fran in the 1950s. I'm, I'm, our fifth, I'm picturing like Steve McQueen era. Like just no, the no, no, like 1920s. And... Like, oh, oh, older. Uh, the gold rush. Okay, so, so this dude's like really wealthy and he marries Yay. Ellen Rimbauer, is her name. Um, and he's just a cheating whore. And this woman and her <laughs> caretaker, uh, who they brought from like Africa. Um, the house like absorbs them, or they become the house, and the house keeps building itself, and like it hates men, and wow, <laughs> it's wild. I <laughs> like it. I was like, the house is gonna win an achievement award soon, then, or some kind of bravery award, then, I guess. Join the fucking club, man. Oh, you yeah. got a penis, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Until you've had four Zimas, then it's oh, you got a penis. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> then men are cool. Men are cool then. <laughs> no, no, <I'm> just <laughs> Beck, no. Becky's always sharing stuff like you know, men men can cry too, and she puts post sticking up for men. You guys are all you guys aren't man haters. I mean, you guys are good. No, yeah, just, no we're exactly all good exactly. fun here. Goes both ways. Beck, Oh my Becca god, Becca does amazing. She she helps out she helps out her community and, and the people yeah. around her so much. Becca gets um, a lot of shit, but she's a good shit. You Hannah too. You guys are awesome. by you, yeah. <laughs> no, but I was saying though how Becca and Hannah share our shit. Like you always see, check out witchy they guys, do. check out the light, you know. And I'm always like, fuck, I, I I can't even share enough of her shit because she's just every other day it's she's and it's not just ours, it's a lot of people, and that, that's cool in the community because a lot of people talk the parrot unity shit but not everybody lives it well People i love the area anything. they live in i love the area they live in and i want to go back up there um we got to get back involved with that case becca invited us on a home case where i don't really want to talk about that on the show but i felt no, uh, we need to find to what the next we need to find you, out what the next step is because we don't have that step yeah. we got to find out what that next step is and i don't really know who to talk to yeah. about it that i trust no we, we should talk about that now but i'm curious just yeah i yeah. don't want to turn it just everything yeah. popped up at once, but we haven't <laughs> forgotten about them, and that's a big thing yeah. for us. So, um, that's a lot of respect. We still can't find that cemetery Becca wants us to go see in fucking Poland Spring. Still can't go find the road. So we that, okay. Did I tell you that cemetery that I tried to you know walk you to? Um, when I had first found it with my client, it showed up as a little green square on Google Map, and it said "Old Cemetery in Woods." That's all it said. Then after I tried to tell you where to go, we went back to it, and I looked on Google Maps again, and it no longer showed it there whatsoever. It's like we only saw it on Google Maps that one fucking time. So people and it's can like, take things off Google Maps? Well, right? who knows? Who knows? But why would you? What's it matter? It's a cemetery. Why would you want to forget about it? That's weird to I don't me. Know. That's but weird to a, me. There's a, a few... Important graves there. There's a soldier. There's like a somebody who is like a founder of something in the town. But wow. it's not. There's no sign. It's not marked. We only found it by literally like on Google Maps. But we went and drove up the road, and it's directly beside behind some guy's house on a dirt road that cuts through the woods. See, there's a couple of those that look like little camp roads, and I was like, shit, I wonder which yeah. one it is. Yep. But I'll have to go check it out. That's you know what's funny that reminds me of when you say it's unmarked on a dirt road. It reminds me of Anderson Smith. You yeah. wouldn't find Anderson Smith unless you knew you about it. You would go it. right by it. Right. And it's too bad because all of Wyndham's town elites are buried there. <laughs> like yep. there's that a, cemetery, Adam, that you saw that you barely ever see because it's hidden by the trees. And it and you know it's that it's you sink oh, in a little bit. Yes. By Roma Joe's, yeah. This reminds it's me. Like, you, uh, Becca and I literally scaled up a bank in like a couple mountain boats <laughs> because we couldn't find the cemetery. Oh and no, we we could have. 
<laughs> if we had so the sign said, what did the sign say? I can't remember. And I'm like, okay, we won't go up that way. It was like private road or something. So we Those walked the main ones. road and literally like the spanking was like this. <laughs> like, almost straight up. <laughs> Grabbing on the trees, like <laughs> get a running wow. start. But then once we got That's up there, adventure. we found the cemetery, and there was a road cutting through it. it. It was the same fucking road that we were just standing at, fifty feet down the goddamn road. We wouldn't have had to go up the friggin' embankment if we would have just walked up. <laughs> it was right there. But we were being courteous <laughs> because of the size. They said no, like yeah, well, road. yeah. But. Yeah. Well, that's what I like about you, though, Becca. You're one to go to the ones that, sure, the cemeteries that are right here. Oh, let's just take a right here in the cemetery. Lot. But you go to the ones that are like fucking like, wow, where's this? Like, I almost want to build a witch hat, a house next to these cemeteries. Yes. What's that one we went to? Uh, home Cemetery mm -hmm. in the middle of a court. Remember they were oh, plowing the yes. big tractor? Oh, the, the field? Oh, and we're waving to the guy? It's yeah. a long one. Yes, remember that? Yeah, and it's like, That was like magical with all that even... hay flying around and... Yeah. Smell. Oh. Oh my God, that was fucking amazing. That's a great one. It's, yeah. That's just cool. All the hills, all the hills, and just trees, and oh, yep. gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it. Yeah. I mean, I tell everybody watching. I mean, they are cemetery diaries, and it's like, oh, okay, cemetery haunting cliche. Seriously, like these girls. I mean, obviously, like you're into everything and in, in helping people and spirits and all that stuff. But cemeteries, you're into the beauty of it. You guys go to places and you try to take the pictures and, and just embrace it and respect it. And I think that's admirable because a lot of people just take cemeteries, oh, just whatever. And you guys really. If you are your cemetery diaries, you couldn't have a better name. So kudos to fucking Lynn. Um, you want to talk about Lynn or Angel at all? I know they're not here. Um, she's their members too. Hear it, <laughs> they're here in spirit, and they're not dead, but they're here. With them. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the Angel Row. I used to jam with CJ Row, her husband, when yep. the band we used to be bands, different bands together. And That's uh, true. and of course, Lynn, Lynn's stuck at work because people are lazy. She used to work with my, my buddy Bill, rest in peace at uh in auburn so yeah. it's a well-rounded group it's, you know and, and i know chris is technically a member chris thomas we can't let him out i know he's playing fucking chris, uh crash chris, chris, chris. Right now, right? chris dr mario what what are what? you what are you playing for a game outriders what is it outriders oh i haven't heard that yet i don't know what that is i'm behind <laughs> Either Outriders or Halo. Oh, Halo. I know Halo. Halo's dope. That's cool. Yeah, you got me I'm on that. Add, Halo's killer. Like, a I'm a Fallout enthusiast myself, so. <laughs> I play Cheers, Spyro. brother. I play whatever. Spyro. I love Spyro. Yeah. Spyro the Dragon I was play killer. Tetris Simpsons and like Diner good. Dash. I love Tetris, too. Tetris is killer. <laughs> Galaga, that's my classic. I used to play Madden a lot. I used to like Madden and <laughs> as far and as I got in life with the game. Call of Duty and shit. <laughs> never got really never really got into Madden. I liked uh no. HL before the Call of Duty was good. I used to love sniping. I love people Tiger Woods. Movies. Oh, I used to love Tiger really? Woods was great. Hey, Guitar Hero was great. I used to get my old oh, man yeah. to play Guitar Hero. I'm really Guitar good Hero is amazing. We want to get oh, I want the Guitar Hero back. You get baked and you stare for hours. Hey, yeah, 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 red, yellow, red, yellow, green, green, green. I'm a rock star. <laughs> I'm a rock star. It's great when you have ADHD, <laughs> man, I tell you. All right, we got a minute left. Um, any more shout outs to anybody? Anything you girls want to name drop? Anything you want to talk about? We got a minute or two. We can go over if we have to, just by a minute or whatever. We need to make Anything a plan. We didn't touch on? Yes. Oh, that we I will do. Becca. Come to the mountains. <laughs> I want to yeah. so bad. I love and then it up there. Bring, and then, then we'll switch out and bring you to the sea, and we'll go check out Nubble Lighthouse yes. or or yes. the Witch's Grave. I gotta bring you to York and go see Mary Nason. Oh, the mermaids! I want to do the mermaids. Yeah. That right be off cool. York Beach. Yeah. There's a pirate Thank ship of mermaids. There's a mermaid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, great show, everyone. Thank you, guy. Thank you for all the questions, Jeremy Phillips. Send me a friend request. I don't think I have you yet, Batman. Great watcher, Jeremy. Uh, That's what you are. Yeah, he must be friends with you guys. I don't know him. Um, okay, cool. So Hannah Sprague, did I say that right? I should have asked you first. 
No, right? it's Sprague? Goo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Spragu. I love my favorite fucking meat sauce. Bye, Amanda. <laughs> no, it's Sprague. Excuse me? Amanda Sprague. Sprague. What? You oh, said Ragu's your favorite oh, sauce? I said, okay. I'm just, well, no, because I thought Sprague, Spragu, like Ragu. Oh, was you're Italian. Sauce. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not dissing your Italian, my love. No, no, no. You want to you the best. I just. <laughs> My God, so you make good. it so dramatic. So I love it. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm on the couch tonight, ladies. You guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, the there she goes. Becca Thomas, Hannah Sprague. Thank you so much. Cemetery Diaries. You guys got to check their shit out on Facebook. Like I said, if you're not a loser, perv, prick, you can probably be their friend. But just don't be a dickhead. Um, but they're pretty cool chicks, and they're, they're, they're really down to earth and a lot of fun. So, um... Yeah, I'll let you guys go and crash out. Um, thanks, thanks for, for joining us. Have a good um, one. <laughs> I'll, Bye, guys. I'll, rub, I'll, I'll load it up to YouTube later on today or tomorrow, and then I'll, I'll tag you and I'll share it. And awesome. You guys can go back and never watch it. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Have a good, Have a good right. night, everyone. Stay um, safe. Historically Haunted Vodcast. Everybody have a good night.